I'm Dylan. I'm the co-founder of Consulter and CEO of the AI version of McKinsey. Consulter AI is a platform where enterprises can build strategy reports in minutes by using vertical specific AI models. I founded this after manually building thousands of consulting reports for CPG enterprises at my last AI company. And I teamed up with a few friends of mine out of Amazon and Stanford's AI PhD program to be able to create Consulter AI. So I'm gonna do a quick demo. I'm gonna show you how it works and we're gonna start by creating a new project. Here we are working with John. John is trained around sustainability and digital transformation strategy for telecom companies. So we want to eventually automate and disrupt broader management consulting, but we are starting niche and narrow in order to find product market fit with focus. So what we're doing here is John first starts with a discovery question. What kind of problems can I help you with? Now imagine that's a meeting with three or four different analysts from a big consultancy. And the end of the day, after getting that meeting on the books, running through that meeting with them, this is the question that they take away the answer for. You know, there's a lot more that goes in there, but that is the ultimate question. That is the key thing they are looking for. So here I can just save all that time and I can say, hey, John, can you help me with my sustainability strategy? I am having trouble with prioritizing the top initiatives. Okay, so now John's going to take a minute and our agent is going to look through the different use cases that it offers, right? Like digital transformation for telco or sustainability strategy. And I'm going to use this time while it's loading to tell you that John takes data from case studies, thought leadership, financial reports, news and social media, sustainability governance reports, regulations, review websites, and more. And here you can see, based on his database, he can create objectives for your report. So understanding, okay, you want a sustainability strategy report, but what is going to be behind that? Because that's a broad claim. You want help with prioritizing critical initiatives. Do you want help to implement or monitor those initiatives, like resource allocation, how effective they are? Do you want cost benefit analysis? Uh, do you want to understand how it aligns with your company's overall strategy and goals, stakeholder analysis, uh, current progress and performance, and then the top priorities you currently have, right? So what John does here is he says, you need help with sustainability strategy. I can do that. Just tell me more specifically. So I'm just going to confirm these. If I wanted to change them, I could. And John tells me, you know, I'm going to make you a PowerPoint deck or an Excel deck. Right. Is that OK? Yeah, that works for me. OK, so now before getting started, John just says, OK, make a final confirmation, because once you start, you have to do a new project to keep to make any fundamental changes about the goal. So I'm going to confirm that. And now John is going to start acting. John takes each objective, makes a list of different action steps in order to solve that. Imagine the team of consultants that are pulling data, they're extracting it. They're processing it and cleaning it, right? That's a whole big chunk of work. John's already done that. And now John focuses on that next step, which is, you know, using RAG models to be able to understand in our data set what pieces of the data are most relevant to these different objectives, turning and transforming that data with our fine-tuned models into different PowerPoint slides, for example. And those slides are a combination of, you know, sort of, trained models, understanding inputs and outputs of, you know, looking at what other consultancies have done and how those processes work, as well as with our guardrails. And so saying, you know, hey, don't mention the company's name 10 times on the same slide because an LLM on its own might do something like that. And boom, here we go. We have that presentation that would typically take three to six months of work just to build. And if I pull up that presentation, actually see the report that has just been auto generated so when a company signs up we do tune it to the company's brand so that their logo can be displayed but that's really just you know an upload image file kind of thing and then the model is able to understand when we type AT&T that when it's analyzing the telecom data out there to just focus on AT&T as that baseline but we can go through we can see that this is a really comprehensive report there's a lot of work to be done to improve it you know, things like improving the citations, 
using more exponential smoothing so that the latest data is more valuable than a little bit more old data. But RAG models, LLMs that we're using, they've been proving to be really effective to be able to answer things and sort of summarize them in clear ways, build these nice tables, you know, give the goal of the research, you know, create some charts, uh, bar charts, you know, more tables, suggest initiatives. Like here it says you should upgrade your energy efficient equipment. You should, uh, you know, reduce your annual CO2 emissions. You should implement new recycling programs. Uh, you should install water saving fixtures. And here's a stakeholder plan, projected ROI, risk matrix for each of those initiatives, and then competitor benchmarks, right? And finally, it ends with an execution roadmap. But the question at the end of the day comes to us, which is, have we proven that large language models with RAG fine tuning in our architecture, have we proven that those have the potential to disrupt a $350 billion management consulting industry? We feel really confident we have. And we're really excited about what's to come in the future. We have really cool things in our roadmap, like adding new charts, improving the AI agent to stream and show the execution in real time, and you know, adding more and more data sources and integrations so that the insights that are generated in our report are far more valuable than they are today. This is what we've done in seven months of work. Imagine what it'll look like in three, four, five years. Thanks for watching. Happy to talk.